Hi there, Human Resources Management students. This is a short video with some more information about how to address the case study assignments. You can find those assignments a couple of different ways. Um, probably the most direct way would be to click on Assignments in Canvas and then scroll down until you see the assignment. Let's take a look at case study one. You'll see that I've provided some very detailed assignment instructions. I've pulled those up here. Uh, so that you can take a look at them. Basically, you're going to be looking um, at the chapters in the book. Um, you can select any case from the ends of chapters 1 through 7. You'll be reading the case, so you, you should figure out which subject is of most interest to you. Um, and then you'll be basically responding to the specific case. Uh, my grading rubric is here. Uh, one thing that's really important to note is that you'll be using my citation and formatting guidelines to insert footnotes. We are writing in a business style these days for these classes and inserting footnotes is the way we write in business. In the text you'll see that um, we have on the left hand side here, I'm afraid it's outside my screen, so now it's inside my screen. We can look at each chapter and at the end of each chapter there's a section called Cases and Problems. So taking a look at the Chapter 1 case. The Chapter 1 case is right here. We've got Jennifer who's the owner of a company. There's um, experiencing some growth and so your task would be to answer the four questions that are listed here. For each case, this will be slightly different. So I'm now clicking over to the case for Chapter 2. Again, once you get into that section, scroll down to um, the bottom for the chapter case. We're not working on team activities. Uh, again, each case is different. So pick a subject that means something to you, and you'll be writing up your assignment. Now that you've written your assignment, you need to submit it, and we use the integrated version of Turnitin in Canvas to do this. I'm using Case Study 2 because I've already uploaded something for Case Study 1, and I want you to see how this works. So I've clicked on Assignments and Case Study 2, and you can see right now it says to upload submission. And so here we will be selecting a file. It's really important to me that you indicate which chapter you are your cases regarding so I'm gonna do the chapter one case so please in your submission title tell me which chapter you are um, submitting your file for Let's find your file select continue you can see that it's uploading and again this is how it looks for canvas um, to have the Turnitin system integrated with it um, this is a chance for you to just make sure that you have uploaded the file that you intended to upload and then you will accept and submit. The submission complete is a really good sign and you can see that it was uploaded. So anytime you come back to the assignments window, uh, the assignments link, you can go and double check to confirm that you have indeed submitted your assignment by clicking on it. So when we come in here, um, you can see, yes, indeed, it is uploaded. I want you to notice something else, and that is this percentage. Your percentage will be significantly lower. This um, is telling me how what percentage of the paper matched something that's already been submitted in the past. Now, I used a document that I have used in the past, and so it's showing as 98% duplicative. Yours should not show anywhere near that figure. Now, if you have copied directly from the text, which is perfectly acceptable if you put that copied information in quotes and you have created a footnote which explains um, where those statements came from, then you're just fine. That percentage may still show as high and you just don't want to panic about it. But if it shows as high and you're not 100% sure that you've done the proper footnoting, that's a signal to you to go back in your paper and review it and ensure that you have all of the proper footnoting. Because when I look at it, I'll see this as will you, which is basically saying that this is coming from another source. And we can click on these sources and see um, where they came from. So you don't want to um, have that as a problem. But you can always check to make sure that you've, um, you have submitted your paper and you can see the similarity index and that's how we handle our case studies in this class. I hope this helps.